Hello everyone, before I start my lecture, I would request you all please subscribe my YouTube channel and press this bell icon button. Click all. You will receive all latest notifications from my YouTube channel. Once you have subscribed my YouTube channel, I have this WhatsApp group that you can be part of. In this group, I'll be posting my latest trainings. Uh, I'll be sharing job openings with you. So you can be part of this WhatsApp group. This is the link which I'm going to mention in the below description. So thank you so much and have a great learning. Hello everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to discuss Teradata Parallel Transporter Utility, TPT. So what is TPT? TPT is an internal Teradata utility. With the help of TPT, we can perform the following operations. Like if we have to export data from a Teradata database to a file, we can do that. So we can also uh, load data in a Teradata database from a file. Also, uh, we can load data in a Teradata database from Teradata database. Source and target both are Teradata database tables. Okay. Then we can also load data from Teradata database to other databases like uh, we can load data in, in an Oracle database, Microsoft SQL Server database. So we can perform different, uh, different operations using TPT. Now let's look at the basic flow diagram of TPT. In TPT we use the concept of operators. We have different operators like producer operator filter operator and the consumer operator. So what is the concept of producer operator? Producer operator is going to read data from a source and then once the data is read from a source, it is going to write it in a data stream. Uh, data stream, okay. Now what this filter operator is going to do? Filter operator is going to filter data from a data stream then it it is going to pass it to a data stream here so what is the concept of data stream we use data stream between two different operators between two operators okay like uh, here i'm using the consumer operator here i'm using the filter operator in between i will use the data stream okay now what is the concept of consumer operator? Consumer operator is going to read data from a data stream and then it will write data in a Teradata database. So this is the basic overview of TPT. We have concept of operators in TPT. So now let's look at the difference between TPT and standalone utilities in Teradata. What are different standalone utilities in Teradata? We have fast load, multi load, T pump, fast export. These are standalone utilities. And what's the difference between these utilities and TPT? Uh, when it comes to TPT, we achieve parallelism. How we achieve parallelism? Because in TPT, we use the concept of operators. So let me just give you an example here. Let's say I have two source files and I want to read these two source files. So what I'm doing here, here is that I'm using two different operators, producer operators. These two different producer operators are going to work in parallel to read these files. Okay, look, likewise, consumer operators uh, these two consumer operators are going to work in parallel to read data from a data stream and then it will write data in Teradata database. So this is how we achieve parallelism in TPT. When it comes to standalone utility, we do not have parallelism. We do all these things sequentially. So that's the difference between TPT and standalone utility. Now. Let's look at some TPT operators and standalone utilities. So for example, if, if I'm going to do fast load in TPT, I will use the load operator. If I want to perform the fast export in TPT, I will do export operators. For example, if I want to read data from a file, I will use the data connect connector operator in TPT. 
for multi load i will use the update operator so this is the table which is very important for you to look at before using the tpt now next i'm going to give you an example of uh, tpt script where i will do fast load i will use this load operator to load the data in my empty target table so let me show you my script so this is the directory where my script is present i'm going to open this script so let me just edit with notepad plus plus then go to the language s in sql now it is in sql format so in tpt script the first step is defining a job this is the name of my job employee underscore job description is optional this job is going to load my data in my empty table second i'm going to define my schema this is the name of schema tpt underscore schema underscore employee these are attributes employee number first name last name data type will be varchar then i'm going to define an operator this is going to be a producer operator which producer operator i'm going to use i'm going to use the data connector operator so what is the benefit of using data connector operator since i am reading data from a file from my local directory that is the reason why i am using the data connector operator so producer operator producer operator is going to read data from my local file which producer operator i am using i am using the data connector operator schema i'm going to define the name of schema attributes file name employee.csv directory path since i haven't provided the path of this directory the reason i haven't provided because my tpt script and my file both are present in same directory so no need to provide the directory path here format open mode okay private log okay fine then i'm going to define the ddl operator tp tdp id here i'm going to provide the ip address so let me first open my terminal from here i'm going to get my ip if config ip address is this 192.168.100.150 okay 100.150 ip address is okay username dbc dbc so why i'm using this ddl operator the reason i'm using this ddl operator because I have to first create my target table okay uh, before creating my target table uh, I will drop my tables log tables error tables and this employee table if this employee table already present in in my database this is going to drop it okay let me just change the name I will change the name of this database I will change it to let me just change control F replace find okay i will name it project replace all 10 occurrences okay project is the name of my database let me just create my database with this query create database project from dbc as permanent space execute this query this is going to create my database i have to check my database if it is created or not refresh it now project database where is project let me just check it this is the project database okay now let me just come back to my script uh, okay error tables these are error tables log tables username dbc this is the ip address now next step is this setup step setup tables i will use the ddl operator name of ddl operator is ddl op this is going to create these tables this is going to be my target table okay varchar varchar fine data type will be this if table already present it is going to drop it after that the load operator i will use the load operator name of operator is load operator select star from operator this is the producer operator i am selecting the producer operator then i am from the data of uh, source file is going to be uh, inserted in my target table name of target table is this employee okay now this is the script which i am going to execute save this script 
ऑल ओके ओपन दी कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट गो टू द डायरेक्टरी वेयर दिस स्क्रिप्ट इज प्रेजेंट ई डायरेक्टरी टी पी टी डी आई आर टी बिल्ड माइनस एफ इन द नेम ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट नेम ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट इज इम्प्लॉई डॉट टी पी टी नाउ एग्जीक्यूट दीज आर द लॉग्स look number of rows total number of rows 11 including the header file rows inserted 10 now let me check my target table select star from project is the name of database dot only one table execute look 10 rows returned all data have been inserted in my target table so this is the tpt script for uh, doing fast load okay you can also do uh, you, you can also use the export operator uh, to do fast export okay so hope you understood the concept thank you so much and have a great learning